Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll push our Docker image to the official Docker Hub repository. So if you remember in the last video, we have created the Docker image uh, of the Streamlit application that we built for the spelling and grammar mistakes check app. Right? So we'll take that uh, Docker image and we'll push it to this uh, repository so we can use this uh, uh, for the deployment directly so you can see right here I am on docker hub right now so there are two ways you can work with this you can work with directly you can configure a CI CD and you can use this or you can also use it from your local CLI the command line tools I will use the local command line tools to interact with this repository and I will push the uh, docker image uh, that I have locally in my system so for that I have to create a repository first so if you see there's an option to create a repository I don't have any repository so far on this docker hub account so you can see the uh, username here AI anytime and in the name so let's give it a name I'm just calling it maybe text correction this is my name and description uh, let's call it official docker image for the spelling and grammar mistake check it something like that it's a basic description so you can also see there are two options one is public the other one is private you can also use the private one uh, which provide if you click on this is the is using using zero of one private repository so you can use uh, one repository at max for private but i will keep it public that can also that also appears in the docker hub search results so now you can also use that image if you want you know you can just download that image and you can run that image if you have docker installed in your local machine or any remote machine that can be any uh, cloud machine as well so in this case let's create this it will take a little time so as you can see here it says uh, I have a I have a repository here which says AI anytime and slash text correction there is also a description it also gives you some insights like last post a few seconds ago and tags and scans and I'll, I'll tell you about tags and scans later right so docker has now all this uh, testing and scanning with the help of sync so if you don't know sync i'll i'll cover that you know brief about sync later we also have a readme you can create a readme file for the for the end user or the audience who like to use your image directly from this docker and we have some commands that you can use this to you know interact that that you can also use it to push your uh, image from your local machine or from remote machine to this repository basically this is a more kind of a registry that we are using so if you talk about cloud and uh, a cloud for example azure or aws they have azure have azure container registry acr and then we have ecr as well right for aws so but we are directly going to use this docker hub official repository okay and then we have also automated builds so for that you need to upgrade to either pro team and business but we don't need it for now this is a very simple tutorial right so let's see how we can you know push the image that we built locally so for that i will first see what all images that we have right so the command is as you know sudo docker images so you can see the image here text correction image which says the tag latest and some some information right so we will use this image and we'll push this image to this repository so how can we do that so first we have to log in to this uh, repository right to the account so there are many ways I have been already logged in right to this repository earlier but if you are logging it for the first time and if you don't know how to log in you can also pass the username flag right so use the username flag and pass your username something like this and if you hit enter it will ask you for the password so I have already logged in uh, into this I'm not going to do that when you when I hit enter you will see it says authenticating with existing credentials 
and it says login succeeded so i have been successfully logged in uh, into this repository now okay basically this account that i have ai anytime so first i have to tag this image right with this repository otherwise how would docker understand that in which rep repository you have to push this image so we have to tag this right how can we tag it so the way of tagging is we'll say do docker tag and then the image name that we have which is text correction uh, i hope i'm typing right text correction image and then we give the uh, this username right so which is ai anytime class text correction and we like to give a first you can also this is a basically a tagging you can see the tag here later so i want to give it the first version of it right so i'm saying 1.1.0 1 .1 so when i hit enter the tag has been successfully done and the next step is to just push this so i'll say sudo docker push uh, just use excuse me just push just use this ai anytime and text correction so text correction dot 1.0 and you can see it says the push refers to this repository right docker io slash ai anytime slash text correction so it will start uh, pushing it and you can see over here how how fast it's pushing it will take little time to push all of the layers that we have right so if you see in the containers we have different layers and it all it all has been uh, being pushed here to this repository on text correction so it will take little time and i'll get back when this is this being done So as you can see, uh, the push has been successfully done here. So what I'm going to do now, let's refresh this. And once you refresh it, you will see the uh, under tags and scans, right? We have something called 1.0, the tag. Uh, it has been pushed operating system Linux, Arc is AMD64 and the type is image and pushed a few seconds ago right so if you if you go here and see all you can see the image has been pushed from here right so you can see if, if you have other versions as well it will be uh, listed here and if you see the compressed size it's around 624 and uh, or mb right if let's click on this it will have all your image layers listed down here you can see the cmd the bin the environmental path all of the layers that have been you know, used when, when we were building that uh, docker image right so for that we have to upgrade if you upgrade uh, basically uh, docker has partnered with someone some some and some organization called sync so sync is kind of uh, a scanning and testing company which kind of looks after if there are any bugs in your docker images for example the python versions if it's if it's too old like python 3.7 or 3.8 it will be treated as a, as a bug right so i'm not going to upgrade it i'll keep it as it is and i'll go back so you can see right so now if you want to pull this now suppose this is this is what i have pushed it right now if some of my friends who wants to use this in their local machine or if they want to build a poc for spelling and grammar uh, check mistakes they, they can just use this docker image right and they can just use it in their software or in their application that they are building so how can i pull this image and use it so if you see there is a command called docker pull ai anytime slash text correction and something like that right let me just copy this pull command copy i'll go i'll come back here on my terminal and what i will do i will again say i have to uh, of course use sudo and then I'll just paste and I'll just hit enter and what it will do it will connect with this uh, repository and it will pull it and you can see the image is up to date for AI anytime slash text correction 1.0 let me do one thing so I already have this image tagged in my local machine but you can try it and you try it and let me know if uh, if it is working for you or not uh, uh, the way we want it to work right so if you see images 
you can see this image right ai anytime slash text correction it been pushed so this is the one that uh, we have tagged and pushed it to this repository and the below one that we built it right uh, for the stimulate application so this is the one way of uh, pushing the docker images from your local machine to docker hub and now what we will do in the next video uh, we'll take this uh, excuse me we'll take this ai anytime slash text correction the image that we pushed we'll use this image and we'll use it somewhere in app service right uh, in a web application we'll use microsoft azure to do that we'll directly take it from here and uh, we'll we will not use code, we will use docker uh, and we will deploy the application uh, on Microsoft Azure. So I hope you liked the video and you, you got some understanding that how docker works and how you can you know, use a uh, streamlit application and containerize it and push it to the docker hub or repositories. Right? So if you, like, if you liked it, please uh, like and share this video and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much.